Sesame is a crop mainly grown for its seeds. Sesame is becoming more and more popular because farmers can earn good money from it. With sesame seeds, we can make oil, cakes, sauces, sesame meal for livestock, soups and cosmetics. Sesame is easy to grow, but poor harvesting, threshing and storage can decrease its quality. Stones, sand and other impurities can easily mix with sesame seeds and affect the price. In this video, we will learn how to harvest, thresh and store sesame to ensure good quality. When sesame gets too ripe in the field, the seed capsules split open and release their seeds. So you lose lots of seeds and lots of money. Let's listen to Mrs. Jeneba Kone from the village of Guaran in southern Mali who explains how they know that sesame is ready to be harvested. We know that sesame is ready to be harvested if the stalks become yellowish, leaves start to fall and the lower capsules turn brown. We harvest at this time, otherwise the seeds capsules turn brown, split open and spill their seeds on the ground. This decreases our yield. To prevent sesame seeds from falling on the ground, harvest as soon as the lower leaves turn yellow and start to fall, which is when the lower seed capsules turn brown. A few days before harvesting, prepare a drying floor in the field or nearby. It must be clean, dry and protected from insect pests and wandering animals. Let's listen to Mr. Tiakoro Diara, a sesame grower in Bugoni. When sesame reaches maturity, I clean the drying area. I mix cow dung, earth and salt with water and prepare the drying area with this mud. The cow dung and the mud make the ground compact. Salt helps prevent ants and termites from attacking sesame. After, I also spread some ash to keep termites and ants away from the sesame bundles. If you have a large field, you can prepare several drying floors. Some farmers use particular methods of protection from grazing animals when they dry their sesame bundles. In our village, some farmers put their sesame bundles on the roofs of houses to dry. This helps prevent animals from damaging the crop. You can also install racks in the drying area. Racks are supports of 30 cm to 1 meter high. Pillars are made of wooden forks or big stones that support the tray. The tray is made of branches placed close together across the racks. To prevent sesame seeds falling on the ground, spread a tarpaulin on the racks. Sharpen sickles or knives to cut the stalks. Sesame is easy to harvest with sharpened sickles. Make sure you have carts to collect and transport sesame stalks if the drying area is far from the field. Cut stalks 10 cm above ground. Do not shake them or they will release their seeds. Pre-dry the stalks for a few hours by leaving them where they have been cut so that the stalks and leaves lose water. Collect the stalks and take them to the drying area. Make bundles by placing stalks vertically on the drying floor or on the rack. Face the pods upwards so that the seed capsules keep their seeds and dry faster. We take precautions to avoid damage to the bundles while drying. 
We check on the bundles from time to time to make sure they are not attacked by animals. We check underneath the sides and the top of the bundles. If we see ant nests, we spread some ash to drive them out. Thresh your sesame maximum 15 days after drying. At this time, the seed capsules are well dried and easily release their seeds. Threshing sesame on bare ground introduces impurities like sand, stones and other plant debris. This decreases the quality of sesame. So how to avoid this? Spread a tarpaulin or plastic sheet on the threshing floor to keep out dirt and to avoid loss of seeds and attacks by termites and ants. Gently shake the bundles with your hand or with a stick to release seeds from the seed capsules. The seeds fall on the tarpaulin. We pass them through two different sieves to remove stones, plant debris and dust. After sieving, we winnow the seeds. This ensures we have clean sesame seeds. Pack the cleaned seeds in well-sewn closed bags without holes and take them to the storage place. The main enemy of your sesame during storage is moisture because it causes seeds to mold which decreases seed quality. Prepare and clean your storage area. Choose a well-ventilated room. Make sure the roof does not leak in the rain. Store sesame bags on pallets, wooden boards, or tree branches to avoid direct contact with the ground and allow air circulation in the storage room. Moisture and insects can damage bags in contact with ground, walls, and pillars. Clean the storage area from time to time. Now, let's sum up what we have learned. Harvest your sesame as soon as the lower leaves start to turn yellow and to fall, which is when the lower seed capsules turn brown, that is before seed capsules reach maturity. Prepare a clean drying floor, preferably one with racks installed on it. Use a clean tarpaulin for threshing. Sew the bags shut and store them in a clean, well-ventilated place. Keep the bags off the floor to avoid direct contact with ground and walls. By proper harvesting, threshing and storing, you obtain higher quality sesame and a better price on the market.